Good morning. Welcome to the Community for Conscious Living Weekly Live broadcast. Today is Sunday, September 17th of 2023. Happy birthday to my sister Susie. <laughs> the Community for Conscious Living is a community dedicated to personal transformation for universal harmony, healing the planet by making inspired changes in ourselves and in our daily lives that create a sustainable environment in a peaceful world. Why? Because human beings are the the beings on this planet that have been given free will, everything else in nature, every creature, every element, everything in nature lives in harmony with divine nature, with the divine, um, uh, uh, the divine, it's in harmony with nature, with the laws of nature. And human beings were given this thing called free will, which means we get to um, kind of, think of ourselves and feel ourselves and experience ourselves as separate from nature and try to like find a way outside of the natural way and what we do is end up testing the boundaries of nature what we can get away with and still survive and we certainly are pushing the limits on that so as human beings we have that free will thing and we get to choose right what our actions are and we do it from a place of of a, um, a, a deeply subconscious disconnection or, or sense of disconnection so a lot of times what we're doing we don't realize is so out of harmony with nature we don't realize that we are destroying the planet and destroying ourselves and destroying each other and all of the other life forms on the planet so you know we don't recognize it we don't understand it we as human beings however have the capacity to wake up and to to shift our habits and behaviors and our beliefs and to do this thing we call healing we have the opportunity to make different choices better choices that can turn things around and create a sustainable environment in a peaceful world and our choices matter what we do matters and yes we need change at the policy level and the level of the systems and what we can do here now today as a group coming together who really cares about peace we're not sitting might not be i don't know we might not be sitting in the um in the chairs of the uh, making the policies but what we can do is come together and what we're going to do today visualize our world because everything is all you know it's intention is really what drives our uh, uh, our abilities and our and also our limits right so our we're not limited to what we see around us we really can have an impact when we come together with intention and we hold the entire planet, the planet, all of the inhabitants of the planet, all of the plants, the animals, the water, the air, the, the clouds, the trees, everything, all of the planet, its elements, its environment, its inhabitants. And as we hold this and we extend our hearts, our sincere heartfelt prayers, and uh, we, we work with sound vibration to influence the vibration of the cosmic soup to help to lift the vibration of the cosmic soup and you know what our intention today is to extend our prayers to lift that vibration of the cosmic soup to infuse the energy body of the planet right the planet has an energy body just like you have an energy body and you have an energy body and you have an energy energy body and i have an energy body every community every family everything has an energy body so we want to um infuse the energy body of the entire planet and its environment with unconditional love and compassion and that vibration when it gets to a certain point hatred can't live there destruction can't live there the things are our unconscious actions that cause so much harm can't live there anymore so that's our intention today is really to bring that unconditional love that compassion those prayers for peace and the sincere heartfelt 
plead, pleading um, directly to our source, to the angels and all of the healers, helpers, guides who are here on this planet to help us to find our way, God willing, to find our way home to the truth, to the truth of love, compassion, mercy, peace, and that connectedness with all that is. Right, a realization that what we do to any, we do to all and to ourselves. That when we are hurting each other, we are hurting the whole planet and we are hurting ourselves when we, in, in all vice versa. So let's go ahead and come into our meditation and healing circle. Let's come into our circle sitting side by side, shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow, knee to knee, coming together as one. In the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. In the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. We call on you. We ask you to send your essence of your pure, unconditional love and just invite you to bring everything that you've got, all of your attention, all of your focus to face toward the center of our circle face toward the center and your eyes your ears your nose your mouth your throat your heart your belly your hara right the ball of energy at the front of your belly space bring everything to face toward the center and facing Again, as we call on our source, in the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate, we call on you. We ask you to send your essence of your pure, unconditional love. Just imagine this pure love streaming into the center of our circle. Streaming in pure, unconditional love. Just feel that. Feel that. Let yourself just breathe with it. And as that love pours into the center of our circle, just let yourself just immerse in it and breathe it in. Turn your heart center to face toward it and really let your heart center be a breathing portal. Do you breathe that unconditional love into your heart? Breathe that into your heart. Ya wadud. Wa is the all encompassing. Wa dud, the all encompassing, unconditional, encompasses all without separation, without making difference, without judging. Let's see, do you fit? Do you, are you worthy of love? Are you worthy of love? Do you fit this parameters for love? No. It is unconditional love. Any of those places where you feel yourself questioning worthiness of this or that, let that go and just let this love infuse the space and infuse you, infuse into your skin, through your pores, into the air that you breathe and breathe it into your body. Your lungs fill with oxygen that that oxygen is infused with love and that love is taken up into your bloodstream and circulated throughout your body and it's delivering those nutrients that nourishment of love to every cell of your body and invite every cell of your body to open and receive and to take in that unconditional love so your entire being becomes just one vibration one radiance of unconditional love breathe that in and with each breath as it goes into your heart space let it just surround the any of those blocks barriers clutter in your heart and as you exhale just let it release let it release let it blow out and just give it to the angels they know what to do with it how to transmute it And keep breathing in that pure, unconditional love, breathing it in. Breathing 
breathing in pure unconditional love and exhaling exhaling giving in anything else to the angels to the helpers thanking them for their service and in the name of the one most merciful ever compassionate we call on you we ask you to send your essence of your pure divine light just imagine this pure divine light streaming into the center of our circle again let this light fall on your skin and infuse into your skin this light is cleansing let it cleanse you let it purify you it says ya nur nur is the divine name of pure divine light ya nur ya nur just feel this waves of light radiating and penetrating into your skin through your pores the light is like electricity right so i think of the light as like touching into the nervous system and traveling through the nervous system of the body all the way through just cleansing cleansing any of those glitches from the nervous system any of those places where the nervous system is maybe on high alert just let this light come through and smooth it out and settle your nervous system into its natural rhythm breathe in and let that light radiate through your body and as you exhale let yourself really drop into your body and settle and rest into your body dropping in resting into your skin And as you inhale, just draw that pure divine light like through your body and all the way into your vertical core, the core of light energy that runs through the top of your head, all the way through the center of your body, halfway front to back, halfway side to side. And just let that light just draw into that vertical core meeting your central light body and really lifting the vibration of your own core of your light body you got your brain and your central nervous system that runs along your spine and let all of that become like a a um, radiant light body and really rest into your body settle let your nervous system settle to you rest into your body and just feel your presence in your home your physical home there's a saying that my teacher used to say a lot you think you are a small star when in fact you contain the entire universe within you so let yourself rest into the universe, the ocean within your drop. Another Rumi poem says that you, you're not a drop in the ocean, you're the ocean in a drop. So you are, you contain the entire universe. You are the entire ocean in the drop. There is no separation. Just let yourself rest in and settle into this ocean. And again, that Still breathing in that unconditional love and letting that circulate through all of your body, through all of your cells. The water of unconditional love, the electricity of pure divine light. And again, together, let's call on our source in the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. We call on you. We ask you to send your essence of your eternal compassion. And this is Ya Rahman, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahman. And this eternal compassion is the cosmic soup that we swim in. The first emanation of God consciousness is this eternal compassion, which comes from the same word. It means the womb. It means womb. And or one of the meanings of that root word is womb. And 
this eternal compassion is the womb of our existence everything within this material realm this time space reality is contained within this womb that is filled with this cosmic soup of compassion the eternal compassion the ocean of living consciousness and so as you are breathing in this unconditional love and radiating with this pure divine light absorbing that into your core rest into your body and let your whole body rest into this womb of eternal compassion rest into this womb of eternal compassion feel yourself held feel yourself contained feel yourself in this womb of safety And let yourself be held. Held in pure love, compassion, acceptance, safety. Let yourself trust. I know trust may be a tall order at this time in our human evolution as things can look rather bleak whether you're looking you know at the conditions of things nation by nation or worldwide or planetary environmental issues there are a lot of things that can make us nervous shall we say but it's not hopeless and i do believe that there are solutions beyond what we're able to conceive of with our minds and our our mental capacity of our human bodies and so we don't have to know what those are to bring our prayers and intention but let's for this moment let's imagine in the center of our circle the entire planet the ocean in the drop let's imagine the entire planet with its entire environment its contained environment and all of its inhabitants all of its elements all of its seen and unseen oh, pieces and everything just imagine this contained in the center of our circle and we're all around it surrounding it and i invite you at this time if you have a specific prayer or intention that you would like to make take a moment turn directly to your source and make that prayer from the depths of your heart whatever prayer you would like to make for our planet give you an opportunity to share this if you wish at the end of the call but for now between you and your source make this prayer And pray for the safety of our planet, our planet as a body, as a divine being, as a divine entity. Just pray for its protection, pray for its health and well being. Pray for the humanity that exists on this planet to come into a realization, to awaken to the realization of our connectedness, not just connectedness, but integral 
existence within this planet that we must fall into the vibrations and the rhythms of the planet in order to be in harmony and in peace like within any body that is sick when a body is sick there is a call from within the body to return to a homeostasis body does the best it can to live and to survive and to stay alive given the conditions so the prayer is that we recognize what conditions our planet needs and fall into alignment with that and to be in a state of homeostasis with the rhythms and the vibrations of our planet so that we can allow our planet to heal itself and support the planet to live in health and not stray from the natural rhythms and the natural laws of nature so we'll make that prayer for the humanity that exists on this planet that we awaken to our interconnectedness and our oneness with the planet as a body kind of like saying if the red blood cells decide to do their own thing and not live in harmony with the rest of the body that the body will definitely not be okay right imagine the human beings like the red blood blood cells we gotta fall in line got to fall in line with the needs of the body the greater body of our planetary system planet earth and live to support the planet and all of nature as it exists within this planetary realm so just making that prayer And there are some divine names that are coming to mind with this prayer. One is Jabbar. It starts with a J, Jabbar, and then two B's in the middle, Jabbar. And it means the healer who realigns. And it's one of the divine powers, right? So calling on our source and calling on the power of the healer who realigns. Ya Jabbar. Ya Jabbar. Ya Jabbar. And just imagine this, like calling on this divine power to really illuminate its presence within the planetary environment to help to realign all of the elements and entities within the planet, including the human beings, to bring us into a natural alignment and a natural rhythm, right? Which is Ya Tawab, to return to the natural rhythm. Ya Tawab. And that's really when we wake up and make the remorse, feel the remorse of, wow, we really went astray there, didn't we? Let us wake up and return. So Yad Jabbar is the divine power, the healer who realigns, and Yad Tawab is like when we wake up and say, ah, wowie zowie, let's return. Let's return to live in the natural rhythm with the laws of nature. Yad Jabbar, Yad Tawab, Yad Jabbar, Ya Tawab, Ya Jabbar, Ya Tawab, Ya Jabbar, Ya Tawab, Ya Jabbar, Ya Tawab, Ya Jabbar, Ya Tawab. Ya Jabbar, 
Ya Tawab. And just imagine this infusing into our planet, lifting, like allowing for the shifts, allowing for the alignment, for the harmony, for the return, and infusing again with this unconditional love. We've set this space for unconditional love, pure divine light, and compassion. And so this, our whole implant, planet, our whole planet infused in that light and love and compassion. And the divine power of the healer who realigns, Yajabar, realigning and shifting so that we are coming to live in harmony with the natural rhythms, Yatawab. The individuals are returning and saying yes, waking up and saying yes to living in the natural rhythm of nature of the planet in harmony with the pure divine light unconditional love eternal compassion holding surrounding infusing our planet in the divine power yajabar 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 the healer who realigns realigning what is needed to bring us into right rhythm with the planet and all of her inhabitants. And Yatawab, the individuals on the planet waking up and saying yes and returning to live in the natural rhythm. Yatawab. Yatawab. Ya Jabbar, Ya Tawab, Ya Jabbar, Ya Tawab, Ya Jabbar, Ya Tawab, Ya Jabbar, Ya Tawab, Ya Jabbar. Ya Tawab, Ya Jabbar, Ya Tawab, Ya Jabbar, Ya Tawab, Ya Jabbar, Ya Tawab, Ya Jabbar. Ya Tawab, Ya Jabbar, Ya Tawab, Ya Jabbar, Ya Tawab, Ya Jabbar, Ya Tawab. Ya Jabbar, Ya Tawab, Ya Jabbar, Ya Tawab. If you feel things shifting within yourself, within your own body and energy body, just breathe through those shifts. We're all a part of this cosmic soup of this planetary body. And as the body of the earth shifts, we also experience shifts within ourselves to really harmonize and synchronize with the natural rhythms of the planet. And yes, we are the ones, right? We are the ones that need to shift to bring about the true peace. Breathe through it. And again, any prayers that come up for you or intentions, just call directly to your source and make those prayers, make those intentions, and just really bring all of your passion and your compassion to hold and love, put that love on our planet. Yajabar Yatawab. 
Ya Jabbar, Ya Tawab. 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 Just like anybody, the body of our planetary system, it has its own electricity. So let's invite the settling, just like we invited the settling of our own bodies. Let's invite this settling of the planetary body to settle into the vibration of peace. Let's call on the vibration of the divine power of peace. Ya salam. All right, if you have words in your own language that are that feel more powerful for you to use or in another language that you know in terms of if it's especially if it's a sacred language, one of the original languages whose um, sound vibrations resonate with the vibrations of the natural world. Ya salam. It's a word for peace, the divine power of peace. Ya salam. Ya salam. Just imagine the, the gentle waves of peace moving through the planetary body, through the environment of the planet, and inviting the settling, right? As as the the chaotic energies lift out of the planetary body just inviting the gentle waves of peace to resonate through the planetary body and the environment bringing about ya salam bringing about peaceful conditions where the like the nervous system of the cosmic body can settle into a rhythm of peace and our nervous system is a part of that cosmic nervous system ya salam so let your nervous system settle into it as well so we call on this divine attribute of peace. Ya Salam. Ya Salam. Just imagine this peace moving right into the heart of the planetary body. Letting the heart of the the planet settle into the vibration of pure divine peace. Ya Salam. Ya Salam. Ya Salam. Ya Salam. Ya 
Yasalam 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 Ya salam Ya salam Ya salam Ya salam Ya Salam. Just visualizing the heart of the planet resting into peace and letting the entire electrical nervous system of the planet harmonize with the rhythms of peace. Ya Salam. Ya Salam 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 Let's call in again, Ya Rahman, that womb of eternal compassion that is that first emanation of God consciousness or from God, from God consciousness that is the pure compassion that encompasses and contains everything. And let's just, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahman, the, the womb of our entire cosmic existence contains and holds the cosmic existence in a place of safety nurturing love compassion ya rahman ya rahman ya rahman Ya Rahman. Ya Rahman. Ya Rahman. Ya Rahman. Ya Rahman. Ya Rahman. <clears throat> ya Rahman. Ya Rahman. Ya Rahman. 
Yo, Rahman. Yo, Rahman. Yo, Rahman. Yo, Rahman. <laughs> Ya Rahman Ya Rahman Ya Rahman Ya Rahman Now it's called directly on the protection the divine protection Ya Hafiz, beginning with an H sound, with an F as in Frank in the middle, and a Z as in zebra at the end. Hafiz. H F Z. Hafiz. Hafiz. This is the divine protection. And this will let the entire planetary body be infused with this vibration of divine protection ya hafiz ya hafiz ya hafiz ya hafiz ya hafiz Ya Hafiz. 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 <clears throat> ya Hafiz. Just imagine a protective layer surrounding the environment as well. A membrane, if you will, of Hafiz, the protection. Ya Hafiz. 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 Here we have our entire planet surrounded and infused with pure unconditional love, with pure divine light, with the eternal compassion held in this womb of compassion. The consciousness of the planet itself and everything here is the cosmic soup of the ocean of living consciousness, the eternal compassion. We call on Yajabar, the healer who realigns to realign and bring in the divine power that realigns and brings us into harmony and synchronization with the homeostasis of the body, what the body needs to live and survive and thrive and have good health and yatawab to the power 
to to reach the individuals to have us awaken and return and return ourselves and our thoughts and our beliefs and our habits and our actions to be in right rhythm with the natural world and in harmony with the natural world. Jah Jabbar, the healer who realigned Jah Tawab to return and to live in natural rhythm and synchronization with the planet. Ya Salam, the peace, the pure peace, to let our this peace resonate from the heart of the planetary body and throughout the body and for this nervous system of which we are all a part of the cosmic soup, the nervous system of the cosmic soup, to rest into the peace. And to just radiate with that unconditional love and receive that unconditional love throughout the planetary body ya salam the peace to rest into the peace and ya hafiz the protection to infuse the vibration of the planetary body and also to surround the membrane, membrane of our environment, of our cosmic energy body, infused and surrounded with protection, divine protection. Ya Hafiz. And now let's come to be in gratitude directly to your source, to the angels, healers, helpers, guides, prophets, everyone here who is here to support our collective journey on this planetary or in this planetary body. And let's just let our hearts bow in gratitude and in reverence, in respect for what is here, what is made, the unfolding creation that we are all a part of. And let's make a strong intention to live as one body, as one body in one natural rhythm that supports the health, wholeness, healing of the one cosmic body of our planetary system our planetary body which we cannot separate ourselves from we are as much a part of the planetary body as the red blood cells or any cells of your body are a part of you so let's say yes and fall into the natural rhythms with the world and with the planet And make a prayer also that our decision makers, policy makers, leaders, world leaders, and the, the ones that we know and the ones that we don't know, the ones that we see, the ones that we don't see, let's make a prayer that they too awaken to the needs for the health of the greater body. Make the choices and decisions from the divine connection and the recognition and realization of what's needed for the greater good. And that the vibration of the planet be such that nothing else, there are no other possibilities here, if you will, other than to live in peace. I mean, I mean. And in gratitude, with gratitude, we'll go ahead and close out this part of the meditation and open for Q&A. If you're on Facebook, you have a link there. If you'd like to join us for Q&A and discussion, click that link. It'll take you to the website and uh, where you can 
um, enter in if you want to let us know what your prayers and intentions were for and are for this meditation, please do. Or if you want have something that you want support with or just to share, you can share that there. You can join by computer or by phone. If you're listening to the recording, please join us next week. Next week, we actually have a special guest coming who is going to guide us through a meditation process. She's somebody that I get healings from on a regular basis, and she's amazing. I get amazing shifts from her healings. And I want her to share her what she does with all of you. That's um, next week on Sunday. So please join us for that. And, um, and, you know, just set it on your calendar to join us every Sunday, 10 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. U.S. Pacific Time. And really bring your heart and soul to our prayers for peace and healing for ourselves and the planet. You can find information for joining us live at communityforconsciousliving.com, communityforconsciousliving.com. While you're there, sign up to receive the reminders and the replays. When you do, you receive two free gifts. One is a one sheet that is a, this is a, our 10 spiritual principles of our human existence, what this world is about, why we're here, what this earth journey is about, helps to keep it in perspective for ourselves. You'll also receive a 15 minute guided meditation that you can download. I hope that you'll use it as a part of your daily practice, 15 minutes every morning and every evening, if you can, just to help you to reconnect with that pure divine light, unconditional love and eternal compassion that are the core of your being. All right, and with that, I thank you very much for being here today, opening now for Q&A. I hope you'll join us. Thanks. <music>